Tropical Storm Francine is beginning to intensify over the Gulf of Mexico, and this is expected to become a hurricane over the next 24 hours as it continues to move to the north towards areas like Texas and Louisiana, and is now expected to at least become a Category 2 hurricane with some significant impacts expected to multiple states. In today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about Tropical Storm Francine, what impacts it'll bring to the United States, where those impacts will be the greatest, and also also where it's expected to make landfall and why there is reason to believe we could see this intensify close to a category three hurricane over the next 36 hours. We are going to begin with what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico right now. And this is what tropical storm Francine looks like. And if you watched our video earlier this morning, you'll probably notice there's a pretty big difference earlier. We had a lot of convection, but there wasn't really any spin. We are actually seeing a lot more spin now with tropical storm Francine, which is hence why it is now officially a tropical storm. This was named earlier this morning at 11 a.m., so it's only been a tropical storm for about six to seven hours now. And over the next few days, we are expecting this to intensify as it moves to the northeast towards Louisiana and Texas. Overall, we don't really have a whole lot of a you know full-blown eye yet, but we are starting to see at least that eye clear out just a little bit near the center, and we are probably going to start to see this organize more over the next 24 hours. And the odds of this rapidly intensifying as it moves towards Louisiana are beginning to increase. So we could see this become a pretty intense hurricane before landfall on Wednesday in Louisiana. This is another view of Tropical Storm Francine on the geocolor imagery this afternoon. Notice again, you can see that spin. We almost have an eye clearing out here. You can kind of see it. You have to look really closely, but you'll notice a little bit. There's a little bit of an eye trying to clear out there. Still a little bit of dry air on the east side, but I do think over the next 24 hours, this will start to organize more as it continues to lift to the north. Now, this is an entire view of the Atlantic Basin. Notice again, this is Tropical Storm Francine. It is only about 100 to 200 miles southeast of Texas. The good news is that this should mostly stay offshore from Texas as it continues to move more to the northeast. The bad news is that it's moving more to the northeast and that's going to lead to more time over the open Gulf of Mexico waters, which is basically a bath right now of just hot water. So this is going to continue to intensify over the next 36 to 48 hours before its eventual landfall, which is only about 48 hours from now, which is kind of crazy to think with how quickly this has been developing. We also have two other tropical waves that are currently back out in the main development region. Neither of these right now look like concerns for the United States with at least the next seven days, but we'll continue to keep a close eye on this activity as we are approaching the peak of hurricane season. We are going to be seeing an uptick in hurricane activity, especially since the environment is just so favorable right now for tropical storms and hurricanes. A tropical storm Francine is quickly intensifying over the Gulf of Mexico. As of right now, it is a tropical storm and the latest advisory. Notice the maximum sustained winds are now up to 65 miles per hour. For reference, yesterday it was only at 50 miles per hour and it was not yet a tropical storm. It is moving north-northwest at about 7 miles per hour, but it will be turning to the northeast as steering will allow this to move more to the northeast as we eventually go into Tuesday. As of now, again, it is still a tropical storm, but by about this evening or perhaps even into the overnight hours, this will likely become a hurricane. And then by as early as Wednesday morning, we are expecting this to intensify further. As of right now, the National Hurricane Center does have this forecast to reach 100 miles mile per hour winds Wednesday morning just to the southeast of Houston. So that's a big upgrade over before. They are expecting this to become a category two hurricane by as early as very late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. And then eventually by Wednesday afternoon, this will make landfall in Southern Louisiana as a category two hurricane. I would not be surprised if rapid intensification does go as planned that this could become a low end category three hurricane. So we need to take this seriously, especially if you're in Louisiana, they've gone ahead and issued hurricane warnings in parts of southern and southwestern Louisiana and also be mindful if you're back over near New Orleans because I do want to point out that there is a potential that this does track a bit more onto the east side of this cone of uncertainty which could bring some of the greater impacts to the New Orleans area that could lead to several more inches of rainfall hurricane force winds and as well as some storm surge which by the way storm surge could be up to 10 feet across the coastline so definitely keep that in mind then after Wednesday's landfall this will stay a tropical storm probably until Thursday morning and then eventually moves more inland as a tropical depression as it eventually moves into the Ohio Valley.
This is the official National Hurricane Center storm surge forecast as we go into Wednesday. We are going to be watching for a couple feet, maybe up to three feet of storm surge from about the Galveston Bay back into the mouth of the Rio Grande back over in South Texas. On the flip side of things in Louisiana, that is where we're expecting the most significant storm surge as we will have an offshore wind basically pulling tons of water right along the shoreline. So upwards of 10 feet of storm surge will be possible in areas like the Vermilion Bay and also back over near the mouth of the Mississippi River. We could see upwards of seven feet of storm surge over there and then back over in the new orleans area that is where we're really expecting around two to four feet of storm surge however i could see this forecast increasing a little bit depending on the track and trajectory of tropical storm francine which again is soon to be a hurricane let's go through the future radar this is currently what this system looks like out in the western gulf of mexico again pressure is right around 995 millibars and over the next 24 hours this is going to start to intensify further and by tomorrow afternoon we are likely to see this intensify into a hurricane at the bare minimum a category one but it could get to category two intensity by tomorrow afternoon it will really intensify strongest winds though staying offshore of texas once we go into late tuesday night into wednesday morning notice how this just continues to intensify over the Gulf of Mexico and currently the HAFS model which is a hurricane model is indicating that this could get down to a pressure of 962 millibars with a pretty prominent wind field the good news is that this wind field isn't massive but it is going to be big enough to the point where we're going to see some significant wind damage right along the south coast there of Louisiana this is right around lunchtime on Wednesday and notice how this makes landfall right around southern Louisiana pressure is around 969 millibars so it might weaken just a hair as it makes landfall the worst of the wind is expected to be in a relatively confined area in southern louisiana where that exactly is again does remain a little bit uncertain it could definitely change more to the east it also could go a bit further back to the west so you want to be prepared for this no matter what but i think the worst of the wind is going to be confined to one area and that's going to probably be over like a 50 to 100 mile uh you know length this is by the time we go into the late afternoon and evening this continues to move inland the wind really starts to die down and then after that we're going to start to see this just kind of move up the mississippi river there will Will still be enough intensity to, to the point where we'll have some tropical storm force winds inland but it should not be super duper uh you know significant up those areas here's what the future radar looks like with this so again notice how those outer bands for the most part are going to be just kind of clipping the bay here across texas maybe a couple of showers and thunderstorms making it inland but the main core of the rain is going to stay offshore of texas this is by wednesday morning notice how a lot of those outer and inner bands start to approach southern louisiana and they really ramp up right around lunchtime with that tornado threat really increasing as we get closer to lunchtime and just after lunchtime across eastern Louisiana and southern Mississippi and then by the afternoon and evening hours and eventually into Thursday morning this continues to move north we'll likely continue to see a tornado risk appear across much of basically southern and as well as southern parts of Alabama and Mississippi now the plan is we'll probably be live at least on Wednesday for coverage of eventual Hurricane Francine we will probably have a live update tomorrow as well so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live. Now you might be wondering how much rainfall can we expect across the southern tier of the United States? Well, the bulk of it is going to be in Louisiana. Currently, we are expecting a pretty large area to see anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of rainfall across much of like southwestern and western Mississippi and back into southern Louisiana. The worst of it is going to be right near the coastline. That's where we could see a couple areas get above a foot of rain. And then elsewhere, it's going to be a little bit more hit or miss if you're back to the west of where the eye goes. So Texas this not really going to see much of anything out of this and then on the flip side if you're east of where the eye will be you're definitely going to see some rain at least a few inches of rain across parts of alabama mississippi and even the florida peninsula will be in the fun with a few inches of rain here's what we're looking at on the tornado parameter values the tornado threat right now looks pretty low until wednesday wednesday is when it really starts to ramp up i think our greatest potential for tornadoes will be during the afternoon and evening hours on wednesday in eastern louisiana and southern mississippi where we could see a few or even several Several tornadoes and then by Thursday there will probably still at least be some level of a tornado risk across Alabama Mississippi and maybe southern Tennessee but that still remains a little bit uncertain as of right now thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already